And time now for our championship game as Providence takes on St. Louis. The world's most famous arena ready to go as Young and French jump it up, fight for the loose ball. What about St. Louis did so well last night? They took Virginia Tech out of its offensive flow. They're going to try to do the same with the Friars by mixing up their defense. That one from the corner. Roby, their senior from Memphis. Toss up ahead. Khalif Young flips it up and in. French spins down low. Left hand is good. That one hoisted up there and knocked down. Jalen Lindsay's checked into the game along with Malik White who fires it in. That's a great pass. And that's just not a good shot by French. Ashton Langford gets it to go. I always like winners. I want to be surrounded by winners. He's a winner. Hines high off the glass. And it rolls home. Wow. Out. Lindsay buries a three. You mentioned the 46% a season ago. Ty Ashton Lankford kicks to Bullock. Bullock pulls up and hits. Six fouls at the half. So they used to that back in the day. Hines gets that shot rejected. He went down hard. Right, right, kick out. Diallo from the elbow. Got it. Got to do something. Cartwright spins inside, pulls up and hits. Well done, Kyra Cartwright. Learned so much from playing underneath Chris Dunn. Goodwood with a takeaway. Freshman right at the bucket, can't finish. But guess who's there for the putback? Javon Bess. Diallo wanders into the paint, kicks out. Lindsay a triple, gets another. Lindsay didn't even catch that ball cleanly, but he still had enough time. On the Friars. Cartwright kicks to the right. Diallo buries a three. Now, he knew exactly where Diallo was the entire time. Ashton Langford flips that one up and in. That's from way down, Joe. Foreman the putback. That's a big basket, and they needed it. DJ Foreman. Pure and simple to get ready for the Big East tournament. French, good spin move off the glass. Good ball movement when you have a confident shooter from the outside. Goodwin shooting just 8% from three. And Kai Ashton Lankford, the bull. Ashton Lankford backs it out. Providence leading by 11. Splits the defense, hangs. What a move! Makai Ashton Langford. Watch the ability to split the double team. Shields and protects. And then the touch. One, one spot. Yalo rebounds the miss. Ashton Langford toss up ahead. Watson hangs and hits. And MSG. Goodwin inside, hangs. And that rattles home a three. And probably playing too many guys. First half, clock winding down. Ashton Lankford gets into the paint, shoots and hits! A great move once again by the freshman to get in the paint and a fantastic way to end the first half. And they're allowing the pressure of Providence to disrupt them and push them further and further away from the basket. Nice shot by Alpha Diallo, the kid from New York City knocking it down. Make that one. Young didn't, and he gets back and gets the block, and now that leads to the turnover. Diallo reverses, nicely done. Virginia Tech defense. Now from downtown at best, buries a three. They're just not a good shooting team from beyond the arc. It's not their strength. 
Bullock fires and hits. Actually a foul, so mentally is he on edge? Can you calm him back down and talk to him so he understands how he has to play? Wow, Malik White from way down town. For Ashton Langford. Jackson feeds Bullock, flips it up, flips it in. Roby able to knock down from three. For the Billikens, was St. Louis running it offensively? They ran it so well that that just dictated the entire game. It 100% dictated the game. In fact, yeah. now the carryover would be able to do it in back to back nights. They have not. I mean, everything they did right last night has not gone right tonight as Providence has been able to slice them up and get whatever they want. Have to go. And it's a 24-point game. White hits another. This is a team that really will turn down one to find a great shot. That's an example of it right there. Diallo's proven over the last two days to be a very capable and willing passer when he gets the ball in the middle of the paint. All right, right step back. Jumper is good. Diallo, the floater, and that'll go. Where you're seeing ranked top ten opponents going against each other early on this season. French inside gets the deuce. To Utah against West Virginia, which would be the second matchup that they will have versus an SEC team. Indeed. French inside feeds form and spins it up and in. It's Rodney Bullock. You know, I said before this tournament started yesterday evening for their game that he needed to step up his play. His hair was like the kid wearing the uh, the Josh Rosen jersey. Goodwin flips it up. Tip wouldn't go. Fight for the loose ball. And Goodwin gets that to go. Lob and the throw down. DeJour Dickens. Edwards kicks up ahead, planet, and that one rejected. <laughs> Good win to French in the throwdown. Planet had a great move after getting his first shot blocked. Turned into Dunk City. Good experience for both these two teams. Now St. Louis got a great win last night. They were unable to bring that same energy and same focus to tonight's game in large part because of the things Providence were able to do successfully. But still, this is an area where you think growth is coming for St. Louis. And Fox able to score. The bench loves it. Big smiles from him. Everybody who has checked in the game tonight for Providence has scored. What a great team victory. And Cooley said it was his deepest team, and it showed out in the last two games. The Friars are the champs. Providence wins it up next. College football, UNLV, and New Mexico. For Sean Farnham and our entire outstanding crew here at Madison Square Garden, I'm John Shelby saying so long from MSG. The Friars win the 2017 2K Classic.